which ice is another name to add to the long list of trap rappers at the moment this time we have a jamaican born trap rapper which as far as i'm aware we don't seem to have many jamaican trap rappers at the moment not that i can think of off the top of my head if i'm missing some i am a bit foolish for missing them out but of course, he is residing in America at the moment. He, this album actually came out a good while ago. This came out in like May time, really at the start of May. So this is a very late review. And it's a shame, actually, because, you know, it being so late means that I haven't heard much about it since it has dropped. And when you look into this album, it doesn't seem to have been a huge splash, considering there is a lot to like about Kachais. Just simply through a word of mouth recommendation and being referenced in the same sentence as Playboy Carti, it obviously piqued my interest. And it would have piqued my interest regardless of when it was mentioned, if it was mentioned to me in that kind of way. But it just happens to be that it's only been a few uh, days or about a week since I have heard about this guy and it was certainly uh, a worthwhile play for me because this album is actually really fun. When I go into albums like this there are usually two things I at least want out of it. It's either it be you know incredibly atmospheric and unique in the way that a thousand band Forney was able to achieve on his album uh, Time of My Life early this year. It was catchy, of course, but the hazy atmosphere, the druggy kind of weird psychedelic feeling that the album gave you from start to finish, I thought was pretty unique. Or if I'm looking for something else, which isn't that, I'm looking for something that's really fun and energetic. And I would definitely say this man here with this album is giving me the latter there. For a debut album, it gets like spiky on the shoulders, like really weird. You pull it down, it just goes back up. I feel like I'm trying to be friggin' Grace Jones or some shit, but I promise you I'm not trying to do that. But yeah, for a debut album, there is an immediate uh, impact, I think, from this guy. And again, despite the fact that I don't think this album's made a huge splash, I feel as though there is a massive audience for this. The opening track immediately brings loads of energy. Uh, Kachais instantly has a memorable approach to his rapping. He's not exactly saying anything deep. I'm probably going to say that throughout this review a few times, but I think if you have listened to this genre for, you know, a good while now, you'd probably be expecting that anyway. But all I'm really wanting is just some great infectious spirit coming out of an artist doing this kind of thing. And my God, this guy has bags of it. Plasma immediately transports me to some Pierre Bourne type beat. Um, the way he's repeating, really? Oh, really? <laughs> it's just kind of silly. But of course, these kinds of ad libs are what makes albums like this memorable. And of course, again, immediately makes you compare an artist like this to Playboy Carti because he is just incredibly uh, good at that kind of thing and is well known for doing that. On me, again, with the catchy uh, uh, yeah ad libs, just again, Carti influence is pretty clear. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy cited Carti as some kind of influence because it's pretty obvious when you hear a song like this. But the atmospheric hazy beat really works for him and just his catchy ass rapping the whole way through is just really fun and infectious once again. The track lost it as a uh, West Coast flair to it with a bouncy trap beat attached to it. It sounds really great. He's just saying all kinds of shit. He references Mo Salah and uh, Maradona in this track. Uh, I respect it. I, I like a good Mo Salah reference to be fair. I love the melody on Sanji as well. This is one of the best tracks. The, the, the instrumental here is great. And he just doubles his flow like the speed is just on like 1.5 percent or something like you know like you're watching a video and you can change the percentage like you can on youtube or you're listening to a podcast this is like the same artist but he's sped up it's crazy he just really amps it up and it's probably the fastest rapping he gives us on the whole thing um he's again you know look I'm not going to try and say he's giving us any lyrical, spiritual, miracle shit with his rhyming. He's just saying all kinds of nonsense. 
but he just sounds like he's having a great time. I like the moments on the album as well where he tries to change it up and gives us these weird little inflections, particularly on Kuya. I honestly thought Buster Rhymes came through with a verse at one point because he's doing that kind of like gruff, like, <laughs> it sounds so like, so much like Buster Rhymes, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, he just throws in these little random things at points. Even uh, towards the end of the album, there's a track where he goes in like a high pitch kind of thing like a, a 645 AR, not quite on the on the pitch of 645 AR, but uh, who is on that kind of high pitch level anyway? I feel like as well with a track like Buff, he brings in a bit more of his Jamaican heritage with his accent, his inflection completely changes on this one. And then the track immediately after just goes straight into some like classic Jamaican dancehall type stuff which again, I'm assuming he's just bringing in, in his home, bringing in his own um, sort of uh, influences, his home influences, wants to kind of make an homage to his roots. I will say if this was like three, four years earlier, when like artists like Jay Huss were topping the charts with these kinds of rap tracks, I think I think this could have been a hit in the UK. I really do. There were songs like this that were starting to become quite big in the UK. I don't know if it made it much elsewhere, but it definitely seemed like a UK thing for a while. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I don't think the song sounds great. To be honest, I think it sounds okay. And the fact that he only dabbles in it for one track, I, I do find a bit perplexing. If you're gonna, you know, give us something like this, maybe commit to it. But maybe he just felt like he wanted to do one, one, one kind of track that was like this and that was okay for him. That's fine too. But I wouldn't say it's a highlight of the album. Hilariously, I feel like the uh, yoga freestyle that he does where he's just mindlessly slurring his words from start to finish actually suits him better than him doing this dancehall thing. But I think if he committed to the dancehall thing and maybe went into it with a bit more of a, you know, a commitment and tried it a bit more frequently, he might nail it a bit more, but still it's cool that he gave us it. The track 100 Smackaroonies has to be mentioned because that instrumental really sounds like something Sam Gallatry would have put on his EP, particularly the track Assumptions. Listen to both tracks back to back. They sound very similar. It's kind of weird. And as well as that, I think Sam did drop his EP around a similar time as this album. They weren't too far apart. So that kind of makes it even weirder to me that I'm getting that kind of vibe from this instrumental. But it sounds great. And it only goes to show as well that uh, Kachais is willing to dabble in and out of different kind of styles. And for the most part, it works. Not every track's a hit, but I just find this album to be so much fun. And it does start to feel like he's doing the same thing over and over again at points, but he does little minor tweaks, whether it's his rapping style or the kinds of beats he's rapping over ever so slightly enough to keep you on your toes and to keep you entertained and to keep you engaged. And it doesn't run on that long either. There are a lot of tracks on this thing, but it doesn't feel long. So yeah, definitely a highlight in Trap for this year. There's been a few albums I've thought were pretty uh, overlooked and really enjoyable in the Trap world this year. But uh, still, if I'm going to be the guy to champion them, and of course David Rowe is out there too doing his thing with Trap, um, then, you know, at least some people are here to say that albums like this are worth your time. And if you like this kind of thing, you're going to have a good time with it. There is room to grow for him though, I will say that, but I think an 8 out of 10 for a debut here is a really, really high recommendation from me. I think just with how purely infectious he is as, a, as an artist, it's just enough for me to keep playing this over and over again. Like I just have a great time with it from start to finish. Lyrically, you're not gonna get anything out of this, but this kind of album doesn't require that anyway. So I'm not gonna really over explain it, to be honest. I think if you know this kind of music, you're gonna know anyway. Would love to see your thoughts though. And if you haven't heard it, would definitely love to see you guys in the comments after you've heard it. And let me know what you think once you have given it a try. And if you, want to request any reviews do let me know in the comments uh, check out my patreon as well if you like what i do and you want to support your boy then i would love to see you guys on the patreon there giving me some support thank you as always do have a good day subscribe if you haven't already and goodbye